Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the channel, Swordfire X5. Kenny here in the studio, August 28th, 2021. Boom. You see that? Bitcoin. Bam. Just hit $49,000, actually. Been a while since I've done a crypto video. Been a while since I've done a crypto video. Summer has just been flying by. Haven't been following the markets too much. Haven't been really paying attention. Just been kind of adventuring around and enjoying life. But, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are still been tracking the cryptos, watching cryptos, seeing what's going on. And I'm here tonight, friends, to pull up the charts and just take a little trip back in time, okay, if you will, real quick, with me to, uh, you know, some of the videos I did in the springtime when I was talking about cryptos and kind of was really going heavy on the crypto videos. If you remember, I was talking about Cardano a lot. Cardano, I'm a huge advocate for because I believe in their technology. I believe in their uh, vision of the future of decentralization. And if you will recall, about eight months ago when I was talking about it, Cardano was like 30 cents, bro. It was 30 cents around there, give or take. I don't remember the exact number, but it was around like 30 cents, okay? And I was talking about it, and you want to see where it's at today? We're going to pull up CoinMarketCap right now and show you. Check this out. We are over here, and look at Bitcoin, $48,000, Ethereum 3200 Look at Cardano, though, $2.84. Holy smokes. Let's pull this up and take a trip down memory lane. Come on, open, open, open sesame. It's not opening. There we go. Okay, so over here we have Cardano sitting at $2.85. It went to $3 not that long ago, a couple days ago, I believe it was. Let's go to uh, three months, loading data. And um, you can see back in June, well, this is only three months ago. But back in June, it was $1.54. Let's go to a year ago. I'm not quite to a year. I was making videos like eight months ago. Something like, it was like the beginning of the year, January, something like that. So this is a year ago. Uh, here we are, nine cents. Let's scoot up to, yeah, we are. Let's scoot up to December, boom, 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 boom. January, end of January. 66 cents in february 60 70 cents february and now we're at two dollars and 85 cents that's not bad for a eight month investment if you did end up buying cardano congratulations also on i talked about with theta theta uh i don't have it up on the chart uh, but it's like seven bucks i'm not really sure what happened with that you know they had that main net 3.0 and nothing really happened you know what i mean it's been stable but uh don't really know the story what's going on because here's the truth friends there is a lot of manipulation going on behind the scenes and when i say manipulation i mean a manipulation of information take a look at uh you know what's going on around you okay everything is manipulated all information is manipulated but okay we and we can only ba make decisions based on the information that we're given by people that you know control all the information think about that but the fact is is you know we are witnessing right now a birth of a new civilization and whether or not you agree with that or you don't a lot of things i don't agree with with this uh whole ushering in a new civilization man it seems kind of one world order ish right uh illuminati stuff going on a lot of illuminati mind tricks and uh you know psyops being played on us right now but one thing is for certain at least in my reality is that a new civilization is being formed and that they are ushering in this new uh way of living this new way of thinking this new way of communicating and cryptos is part of that cryptos are the future the old banking system is screwed it's done they know it they want to crash it they want to collapse it they just want to devalue the dollar uh until it becomes nothing until it's not accepted anymore that way we can have a new type of currency um and a lot of the bankers talk about xrp they are big into xrp token and they want that to be their token you know but the simple fact is and this is this is my truth is that you know whether you like it or not it's happening so get on board 
and use cryptos as a means to an end. Because the simple fact is, friends, if you would have bought Cardano eight months ago at 60 cents, you'd be sitting on $2.85 Cardano right now. And that's a real gain that you can use to get out of debt. Because that is the ultimate end game. It is a means to an end, in my opinion, to escape the crippling debt that we as Americans have. And it's not about Lamborghinis, you know, it's not about, you know, buying all these materialistic items. It's about being able to escape and create a life for yourself that you aren't dependent on the system. Okay, that is uh, my thoughts on that. So it's not too late. You know, it's not too late. Who doesn't want to have a diverse portfolio? You know, buy a little silver, buy a little cryptos, hold a little cash, stick it in your mattress, under your pillow, whatever you want to do, even though it's going to be worthless, put it in the bathroom because before long, you're going to be wiping your ass with $100 bills because it ain't going to be worth anything. All right. You know what's going to be worth something? Bitcoin, Cardano, you know, cryptos, man, cryptos, 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 cryptos. But my, and I'm not a financial advisor. I need to put that in there, that disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a, you know, YouTuber uh with a broke youtuber who tries to buy you know ten dollars of bitcoin every now and again you know it's a start but you know it's it's it is not going to be an instantaneous transition obviously there's a lot of bugs to work out people are like well how are we ever going to switch to a crypto you know society well how did we ever switch from you know going from phones on the wall with a cord to being able to FaceTime, you know, grandma in Africa on the other side of the planet in real time. You know what I mean? Like they work, the bugs will work themselves out and you got these tech gurus, these tech nerds, you know what I mean? That are working on it. And it is the future in my opinion. Um, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of bad that comes with it. You know, not everything is the savior. You know, Bitcoin is not the, uh, savior of the world, but it is a means to an end. I think out of our current system which is centralized privatized and run by a bunch of thugs behind closed doors that you know do whatever they want to do they print money out of thin air they say that we you know have gold in fort knox there's no gold in fort knox come on use some common sense um you know look at the bigger picture so if you're thinking about getting into cryptos now's a good time diversify the portfolio go to coinbase you know there's a lot of other ones i use coinbase go to coinbase though set up an account and get started, man, five, 10 bucks, you know, more people my age, I'm 30, more people my age are investing now than they ever were before. You know, the stock market is done. You know, the stock market's rigged. Everybody saw that with Robin Hood. Everybody saw that with GameStop. You know, I only know a little bit about that whole situation, but um, you know, they've been screwing you over. The, the rich people who know how to work the stock market I've been screwing the little guys over for a long time and i think cryptos are a way to escape that and really build uh you know a future generational wealth man you know honestly dude i wish that i could take my 401k and say screwed my 401k and take my 401k money and put it into cryptos find somebody that you know knows what they're doing with cryptos more than i do like day trades and stuff hey they take a 30 percent cut I'm okay with that if you're making a million dollars. You know what I mean? That That's enough to get me a piece of land in Antarctica and build a little cabin away from everybody. You know, breathe fresh air. But, uh, <laughs> oh, geez. 8.30 p.m. It was a good chat tonight. It was good to talk a little bit about cryptos. I know it's been a while. Uh, a lot of you, a lot of you subscribers out there to the channel like the crypto videos, and uh, I'm just, you know, I, I don't follow it as much as I used to because, man, you know, I, I like being outside. I like enjoying the summer and not being absorbed in these things 24 seven. Uh, you know, it is one of my passions, you know what I mean? Like I'm very passionate about a lot of different things and, uh, just so happens tonight. It felt like a Bitcoin night. It felt like a crypto night. So that's all I got for you. Uh, I was going to say something else. I don't remember what it was, but either way, I hope everybody has a good night and is enjoying their weekend and enjoys the week to come friends <laughs> so everybody swordfire x5 out i'll see you on the next one have a good night